the Yale Link T57W. In this video, we will go over the device features and some commonly used functionality to get you up to speed with your new phone. When you first set up your phone, take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the hardware and button locations. On the left is your handset, and on the right is your display screen and keypad. Next to the keypad, you will see some additional buttons for quick access to different features of the device, such as your headset and speakerphone buttons, and physical mute, redial, transfer, hold, and voicemail buttons. At the bottom of the device is a physical volume control. Using this button while the device is idle will adjust the ring volume. Using the button while on a call will adjust the volume for the medium you are using via handset, headset, or speakerphone. The display screen is your main source of information from the device. When the display is idle, you will see the time and date, your line key and soft key options, as well as feature notifications like voicemail or do not disturb. The buttons to the left and right of the screen are your line keys. These keys can be configured to add additional lines to use with your main extension, assign busy lamp field or remote line keys for other extensions, and even allow you to assign login and logout buttons for hunt groups. The buttons at the bottom of your screen are your soft keys. These buttons will change depending on the current activity of the phone. When idle, you have direct access to functions like call history or toggling do not disturb. While it's generally recommended to connect VoIP devices directly to the network using an Ethernet cable, the T5 series phones have a built-in Wi-Fi adapter that can easily connect to your current wireless network. You can access the Wi-Fi settings by pressing the menu soft key, then navigating to basic, then Wi-Fi. First, turn on the Wi-Fi adapter to access the additional options. Once the adapter is on, the phone will immediately search for local wireless networks and display them in the available networks field below. Simply select your wireless network, enter the network password, and press the Enter or OK button. When the phone successfully connects to the wireless network, you will see a connected status on the settings menu. Back on the idle screen, you will also now see the Wi-Fi signal indicator at the top of the display. If you have a Bluetooth headset or the PolySync 20 speaker device, you can easily pair the device to your Yaling phone using the built-in Bluetooth adapter. Press the menu soft key and navigate to basic, then Bluetooth. As soon as you access the Bluetooth menu, the phone will attempt to scan for any local Bluetooth devices currently broadcasting to pair. Once your device is displayed, simply select the device and press the connect soft key. After a few seconds, the device will pair with the Yaling phone and a confirmation will display next to the device listing. On the idle screen, you will now see the Bluetooth icon in its active state. If we turn off or disconnect the Bluetooth device, we can see the device is no longer connected to the phone by the icon's deactive state. To dial an outbound call, enter a phone number from the dial pad, then pick up the handset, press the headset button, or press the speakerphone button to start your call on your preferred medium. Call information such as the dialed number and call duration will be visible on the screen, and you will have access to additional soft key options while on the active call. While on a call, you can start a second call by pressing the second line key alias to automatically place the current call on hold and provide a dial tone to dial in a new number. To answer an incoming call, simply pick up the handset, press the headset button, or press the speakerphone button to start your call on your preferred medium. Call information such as the caller ID and call duration will be visible on the screen, as well as additional soft key options for your active call. To answer a call waiting, simply press the blinking line key. This will automatically place the first caller on hold and answer the new call. You can return to the first caller by simply pressing the line key once more. While on a call, you can place the caller on hold by pressing the hold button or pressing the hold soft key. The call will immediately be placed on hold, showing the word hold on the display screen, as well as the caller ID, 
phone number and hold duration. To pick the call back up, press the line key where the call is being held, indicated by the blinking LED, or press the resume soft key on the screen. A warm or attended transfer allows you to consult with the party to which you are sending the call to before completing the transfer. On the bottom of the screen, press the transfer soft key. This will place the caller on hold. Dial the number or extension you wish to transfer to and wait for the party to answer the call. After your deliberations, you can complete the transfer by pressing the transfer key again or simply hanging up your phone and the call will be immediately connected to the second party. A blind transfer allows you to immediately transfer a call to another number or extension. Press the more soft key to access the second page of soft key options. You will see the soft key BXFER, which stands for blind transfer. When you press blind transfer, the call will still be live on your phone. Dial in the number or extension you wish to transfer the call to and press the OK soft key the call will immediately start ringing to the second party. To create a conference call, while on an active call, press the conference soft key. The initial caller will be placed on hold. Dial the new number or extension and wait for the new party to answer the call. Finally, press the conference button again to merge the two calls. You can use the additional soft key options to manage the conference call. Press the hold soft key to put the conference call on hold. Press the split soft key to split the callers from the conference and place both callers on separate holds. You can mute or disconnect individual parties by pressing the buttons next to the caller ID. You can end the conference call by pressing the end call soft key. If a caller needs to hold for a user that is not currently at their desk or is near a different device, you can easily park the call to allow them to pick up the call from any device on the account. Press the More soft key to access the second page of the soft key options. Press the soft key labeled Park. Once you press the soft key, the call will immediately be placed on hold on a parked extension number, and you'll receive an audible notification of where the call is parked. Call parked on extension 9980. Now, any user can simply dial the extension number, and the call will be immediately picked up and successfully transferred to the extension it was dialed from. Alternatively, if a monitor park line key is configured on the device, you will see the line key button blink, indicating a call is holding on the parked extension configured. Simply press the button to immediately pick up the call. If you need to move a call to a different device, such as Unite Mobile, you can use the call flip feature to send the call back to your extension. Press the more soft key two times to access the third page of the soft key options. Then press the call flip soft key. The call will be placed on hold and is transferred back to your extension, allowing you to answer it on a different device assigned to your user account. The history soft key allows you to navigate your phone's call log. You can use the touch screen to change between your missed, placed, received, and forwarded calls. You can call back any number on the history by simply tapping on the entry. You can also add a history call as a contact by pressing the I symbol to the right of the number. Press the Add soft key, edit the name and add any additional numbers, and press the Save soft key. To access the directory, press the directory soft key from the idle screen. You can tap the entry to immediately call out to the contact, or press the info icon to change any information for the user. You can also press the add button and add additional contacts directly to the list. To turn on do not disturb and send callers directly to voicemail, press the D and D soft key on the idle display screen. The do not disturb icon will appear on the top of the screen. Press the button again to turn off do not disturb. You can set call forwarding from your device at any time. Select the menu soft key, then navigate to features, then call forward. If you have a remote line key enabled for another extension, you will have two individual forward settings for both lines. Select the line you wish to edit. You have three forwarding options. Always forward will immediately forward all calls received to this extension to the number you entered. 
Busy Forward will forward any calls that you reject to the number you entered. By default, this is set to your extension number so it forwards the caller to your voicemail. No Answer Forward will forward any calls you miss while idle or on a call to the number you entered after your specified ring time. By default, this is set to your extension so it forwards the caller to your voicemail. When a caller leaves a voicemail, you will receive a notification advising you of new messages received. This note will stay visible until you press View to check the call history, press Connect to access the voicemail box, or by pressing the Exit soft key. To check your voicemail, pick up the handset or press the headset button, then press the voicemail button. Enter your PIN to access your voicemail box where you can listen to your voicemail messages or edit your outgoing greetings from the automated voice menu.